Tucson's Lupita, Lupita Murillo has more. This 29-page report details what Pima County Sheriff's homicide detectives uncovered in their investigation. We want to warn you that some of these facts may be disturbing. The court document reveals deputies found the bodies of 43-year-old Sandra Enriquez and her 15-year-old daughter Isabel in a bedroom in a tub. The bodies were covered in blood. The father, Hernando Enriquez, was found outside the house in a wash. He was covered in blood. His words to the deputies, just go ahead and kill me. He repeated, just go ahead and kill me. Detectives wrote, we do have a definitive murder weapon at this time. We do have the knife that was under him covered in blood. The documents say the son was able to escape after the father tried to kill him. He ran to a neighbor's house for help. The son told investigators his dad had been under the care of a doctor. The documents say Enriquez had insomnia and had been taking prescription medications, possibly over-the-counter medication for sleep, as well as suffering from depression recently. The detectives asked a judge for a blood draw on the father as well as seizing any medication. At 4.03 p.m., a 911 call came in and said that a young male came to a neighbor's house and told him his dad tried to kill him. The 17-year-old son told detectives he was at school and his father called him to come home early. When he got home, his father met him outside. He said his dad was acting strange. He asked about his mom and his sister. Dad replied they were playing some kind of game inside and he needed his son's help to clean up. As they walked into the front door, his father reached down and grabbed something. He described it as a possible hammer or tire iron or a piece of a jack stand. The father began to attack him and began to make quotes like, just let me do what I need to do. I'm taking away your mom and sister and I need to finish this. Officials tell me the son has been released from the hospital. The father has not. And when he does, he'll be booked into the Pima County Jail. If you want to read what's in these documents, go to our website, kboa.com. Lupita Murillo, News for Tucson.